We are finishing up our blast furnace. We got the chief engineer, uh, Mr. Layton, right here, uh, building this. He's never built one before. I've never built one before, but hey, we're giving it a rock and roll and try. We've got a 55 gallon drum here. Nice clean rim around the top. Got our jet going in right here. Learn the galvanized steel. Get a good jet kind of swirling in there. And you can kind of see how we have it going in. I'm gonna break out that corner there a little bit more. And then it should probably break up pretty good, the jet of fuel. You can see we chipped out and aligned up all of our brick, kind of slide in together. Now, those are not going to slide in real good together, but that's the reason why we got the refractory cement. What we're going to do is we're going to put a layer in there. We've got the finger concrete we can work with, and it'll give us up to a nice clean rim all the way around, so we won't be cutting ourselves on little sharp edges and stuff. All right. We'll put this brick back in the right spot here. Probably get it wet. I get the whole brick wet, huh? Right. Probably be a good idea. We're gonna be messing with the whole thing here. Yeah, you're all set up over here down there. Yep, I got put in the square one here first. Oh, that one fits in there pretty good. Look at that. fits in just like glue. And what we're doing here, creamy enough where we can get it to pour down in there and come out over in here and we can kind of seal it up with our fingers. Our last chime in, we're about ready for a size 60 uh, crucible. And we do just kind of poke it down in there. And get us down some penetration. You can see down little crack we're getting down there. Well, this is looking pretty good there, Rick. Make sure we got good solidity down here. Oh, there, well, that's a good one. I'll put a little more down in there. Yeah, All right. Now, once we finish this up, what we're doing next is we're going to be making the lid out of a Model A tire rim. And we're going to put in these little things I took out of a turnbuckle. We have two hooks that we can twist around a doohickey in there and uh, lift the... Uh, lid off in a matter of like 10 minutes we put in the last chime for anybody out there who thinks that making a blast furnace is hard and complex not it's not hard and complex well we don't know if it works yet <laughs> <laughs> so it could be harder and more complex than we're thinking we won't know that till it explodes and we'll we'll have that on film hopefully we won't destroy the camera too bad all right yeah so we put in the last chime this was the lid and this is going to take a little bit of setting up a setting stuff up before we can we got to cut some cardboard to put in there to keep it from our sand in the bottom or something we don't know yet we'll figure it out when we get there some stuff down there in the bottom that's all right that just provides it with the non-stickability of the flux too many sulfides and whatever this that and the other thing we have completed our chime we have completed our kiln to about 90 percent uh next thing we got to do we've got to run our gas line to a vacuum cleaner for air and then propane to it here we go we are out of here this is the desert artist and mr Layton sitting here in the Sonoran Desert. You can see the landscape behind us. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's going to be about 110 today. Uh, okay, so you see our consistency. Uh, I don't know if we're right or wrong, but <clears throat> it looks pretty good to me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we got went out in the wash and sifted out a bunch of sand. We got sand around our tire and in the inside. And, uh, Rick is going to go ahead and Pour it in there and and uh, see what happens. It looks like we're going to need more mud. It looks like we're doing all right. I get it down there and move it around to just heal around the bottom there. All right. Well, you see, we poured it a little thin. Well, it still might not have enough. Oh, we still got to pump. We got to do more. Uh, I think we should dome it up a little bit and make it look cooler. Uh -oh. We're going to have to go for a minute or two anyway. Yeah, because it's going to be a little Slow down. <clears throat> yes, sir. Slowing down. Uh. All right. Now right, let's see what we got here.
Rick doesn't want me to bury all the spokes because he thinks it's going to be cool glowing red at night doing night burns. Well, we'll find out if it makes it to a night burn. <laughs> right now, it's looking pretty good. There you go. The desert artist and Mr. Layton, chief engineer, working our, working our butt off to get her done, whether it be the right way, the wrong way. Some way, it's going to get done. Right. Yeah, buddy, we'll figure it out. If this one don't work, we'll build another one. I got one already started. We're going to line it up before we get to a little different kind of system. Now, we really got an after engineering system here now. What we got is propane line, and here, yeah, well, look, we got those right there. We're ready to roll. A wet dry vac, with minus the wet dry, all that. This is all going to be cool. This isn't going to be hot, and this is going to be cool because it's going to have frozen propane blowing in there. This is still kind of warm. Ooh, that really got warm. Now, all we got to do is, uh, fire Fire it up for the, uh, Mr. Layton is loading it right there. I'm gonna go over there and while he's doing that, turn on the, turn on the gas and the blower. out in, in an ingot form and we got to figure out little grabbers to go in and grab the crucibles then we got to make something set the crucible in and tilt it into the ingot god i love eating those peas and boy that was a really big pea to eat and wow we i'm glad we got it done this is our setup there's the man that made it all right there How's rick layton the man with the plan who did it all he made the tongs Right there, rad sons of bitches got them properly measured so we can put them in there and grab our crucible that's full of ore and flux and iron for the sulfides. And uh, there's the lid. Here's the here's the uh, little tilter deal we have. This little iron plate we got soldered in the bottom there. There's our ingot mold. Made out of the scrap stuff we had just lying around. Oh, look, a weight bench. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, DP. Fit for life. Repurposed. That's right. We have repurposed everything that we had scrap laying in the yard in order to make a blast furnace. <clears throat> we have fashioned out a 55 gallon drum, regular old fire brick. We got the refractory. Hey, folks. The Desert Artist here. We're getting ready to do our more our burn number seven. We're going to uh put on our gear and uh we're gonna attempt to see if we can pour another bar. Let's see if it works. <laughs> We have, sorry, we have completed, uh, so far, we're going to see if it, uh, pans out anything. Ooh, let's see our little strings of glass in there, that's pretty cool, huh? Little bubbles. Brown stuff in there this time.
that's a good sign. Little geyser of hot water there. Yeah! Yeah! What is that? Yeah! 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 Come on, right here. Come on, right here. Come on, right here. Come on, Oh, yeah! I think he melted, it, let it melt long enough, huh? What do you think, Dad? Watch your heart. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's pretty as hell! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad I wrote the recipe down. Holy smokes. Here we are. We have actually filmed a successful pour. I just want to show you the results of uh, what we've accomplished so far with our blast furnace, our homemade blast furnace that we've made out of a 55 gallon drum and fire bricks. And the lid, let me show you what we've gotten as far as yielding as. Uh, Usage of materials. Our Model A tire rim has worked fairly well for six burns. You can see our refractory cement here is starting to uh, melt away. Gone from that, that. There is where we're at. And here's the what we've got in the kiln so far. And as you can see, the fire bricks are holding up well. Now, as you can see, the, we've got the we've got metal on the uh, all the inside of the kiln. All the way around there kind of dribbles all the way down there so we've got a lot of melted glass a lot of slag our crucible is holding up well this is about the four hundred dollars for this crucible here probably forty to fifty dollars in brick and refractory cement probably a hundred and fifty in refractory cement i just had that laying around so i didn't have anything in that didn't have anything that came with that so duct tape i had lying around there's where we're at with after six pours we have gotten two bars the first bar we yielded just out of luck because we used the right mixture and we decided to use an ore we were familiar with the other ones were new ores second ore was an ore that was a high concentrate of black sand magnetic i don't think i didn't think it i didn't get hot enough and there was it was the wrong type of uh flux my bad third pour was piggy ann's mine it didn't get it I didn't let it get hot enough it was boiling and it had a nice rolling boil and I thought maybe that was just perfect it had a few little blob spikes in it I didn't wait long enough I should have waited another 10 minutes because it has to it has to get a nice smooth placidity and that is when the metals settle down to the bottom I didn't wait long enough they were still rolling around in all that glass and the borax and, and I poured it on top of the second pour burn number two and three were totally separate mines totally different fluxes yeah different fluxes for different mines number four was a fail number five was a success one was a fail first one was a fail because we remelted the glass then we had to burn because the kiln was hot so we put in what we knew would work and we got a good bar now, now I know what's boiling in the crucible is to a fine placidity, like a lake. No boiling, no nothing, just sitting there, hanging out. No wind, no nothing. That's when you pour. Be safe. The desert artist here, hanging out, trying to make it work. Be safe.